What's up guys, Jason here. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a simple and efficient automatic Minecraft bedrock stone farm. This stone farm will allow you to automatically get a bunch of cobblestone and stone. Having a bunch of cobblestone and stone is great for building. This farm works on 1.16 and on all other versions of Minecraft bedrock, whether you play on a phone, tablet, Xbox, PS4, Nintendo Switch, or PC. As you guys can see here, this farm will give you a bunch of stone and cobblestone. For this farm, all you'll need is one lava bucket, two water buckets, four hoppers, one redstone comparator, eight redstone, four pistons, one lever, four obsidian, two chests, eight stone, and finally about a stack and a half of solid blocks. You guys can use any solid blocks that you want. The first step is to take some solid blocks. You guys can use any solid blocks that you want. Then place down seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Once you guys have created that row of blocks, place another row of blocks on top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now place four blocks over here. One, two, three, four, and two blocks at this spot. Now come over here, then place down five solid blocks. One, two, three, four, five. Now place a block over here. Now place four pistons facing this way. One, two, three, four. These four pistons will push the stone that is generated in this farm to the part where it will be mined and collected. The next step is to place three blocks over here. Now place five over here. Then place three at the spot. The next step is to break these four blocks that are right next to these pistons. At this point, I recommend that you guys create an infinite water source so you guys can use two water buckets to fill in all the water for this farm. To do that, come over to the side and place some blocks in this formation. Then place down two water buckets. As you guys can see there, that should create an infinite water source. Once you guys have made your infinite water source, place water inside of each of these pistons. As you guys can see there, that should cause the pistons to become waterlogged. After you guys have done that, you guys can fill in and break your infinite water source. The next step is to place down six blocks over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now place three over here and two over here. Then place two blocks at the spot. Once you guys have done that, place four blocks over here. One, two, three, four. Now place four stone right next to these pistons. Then place four more over here. The next step is to come up here and place a lava bucket at this spot. The lava should flow down all the way, just like that. Whenever the layer of stone blocks underneath this lava is moved by the pistons, the lava and water will react to create more stone. The next step is to place a double chest over here. Now come behind the double chest, crouch down and place four hoppers, one, two, three, four. Make sure that all of your hoppers funnel towards the double chest. You guys can tell that your hoppers funnel towards the double chest because all the nozzles will be facing towards it. This will be the collection system of this farm. How it works is whenever the stone is mined, the drops will be collected by these hoppers and funneled into that double chest. The next step is you place four blocks next to these hoppers. Now place three blocks over here and three more over here. Then place four obsidian right next to these hoppers. The reason why we place these obsidian blocks over here is because that will prevent our pistons from pushing stone out of this farm. Whenever four stone blocks are above these hoppers, then the obsidian blocks will prevent extra stone from being pushed over. This is because pistons cannot push obsidian. The next step is to place four blocks over here. One, two, three, four, and four over here. The next step is to come over to this spot. Now place down a lever over here and place down a redstone comparator. Make sure that the redstone comparator has the two prongs facing towards this lever. After placing that comparator, click it so that this light comes on. Now place three redstone over here. This should create a redstone clock. As you guys can see here, when you flip this lever, it will activate it. When this redstone clock is turned on, it will cause our pistons to move back and forth to push generated stone into the area where it will be mined. After testing your redstone clock, flip this lever to shut it off. Now, place five redstone over here. One, two, three, four, five. That redstone will power the pistons. At this point, your stone farm should be complete. I am now going to do a quick fly around so you guys can check and make sure that you have made it correctly. Over here, you guys should have your hoppers that funnel towards this collection chest. That will be the collection system. Over here, you guys should have your redstone clock, then all your redstone. 
under these four blocks, you guys should have your waterlogged pistons. On top, you guys should have your lava. The back should be looking something like this. And finally, this side should have your obsidian. How this farm works is, whenever this redstone clock is turned on, it will cause the redstone to start toggling on and off, which will make our pistons constantly move back and forth. Those pistons will then move stone that is generated over here, over to the spot over here where it is mined. As soon as stone is moved over, the water from the waterlogged pistons will come out and touch the lava, which will generate more stone. Those pistons will then move that stone out again and push it over here into this spot as soon as there is room for stone to be pushed over here. If the stone over here is not mined, this obsidian will prevent the pistons from moving extra stone out of this farm. When that stone is mined, these hoppers will collect all the drops and funnel them into this collection's chest. By the way, if you guys want to expand the storage system of this farm, all you have to do is break these four blocks. One, two, three, four. Then break these two. Now place down a double chest. Then crouch down and place a hopper right over here. That hopper should be falling downwards towards that double chest. By doing this, you will be able to funnel the blocks from this chest down here so you have more storage. I am now going to show you how to use this farm. To use it, flip this lever. That will activate the redstone system to push over this stone. Now, hold down whatever button it is on your device to mine blocks. Then, as you guys can see there, you will mine the stone. Then, when the lava and water generates more stone, the pistons will push the stone over to this spot, and you guys will continuously be able to get a bunch of stone. If you guys want to get cobblestone, use a pickaxe that is not enchanted with silk touch. If you guys want to get stone, then use a pickaxe that is enchanted with silk touch. As you guys can see there, when you do that, you will get the stone. This is a quick and easy way to get a bunch of blocks for building. By the way, you guys will never have to worry about accidentally mining the very back block of this farm because you will not be able to reach that far. Whenever you guys want to turn the farm off, just flick this lever, and as you guys can see there, the farm should shut off. All of your blocks will be funneled into this collection's chest. Before we end this video, I would like to announce that I have started to upload Minecraft mod showcases on my second channel. If you guys are interested in that kind of content, please go check it out and subscribe to it. A link to that channel will be in the description. If you guys are not interested in that type of content, don't worry because I will still be posting Minecraft tutorials and multiplayer survival videos on this main channel. I hope you all enjoyed learning how to make this simple and efficient automatic Minecraft bedrock stone farm. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Also, let me know if you guys have any suggestions for what I should do in future videos. Please like, comment, subscribe, and check out my other Minecraft videos. I upload every other day. Thanks for watching!